The next step now is to visualize and preprocess our covariate, the rasta, create the rasta stack in R. So let us load all our rasta file corresponding to the um the the raster files showed in the QGIS. So now let us load them into R. Let me just show you one or two of these raster files. Yeah. If you remember, we said that we need to ensure that our data set are the same. I mean, they have the same extent and the same resolution. So you can see the dimension for these two, that as example, are the same. Likewise, the resolution. So let us just um, visualize these um, raster files. So after we've loaded, the next thing is to create a stack because we'll need the stack. But before we create the stack, we must ensure that we create the stack in such a way that it is the same with the way we put have it in our model here. Let me just show you what I mean so you can What I meant, one moment. So we don't need this. We only need this. So we can see that it's the same. So you must ensure that the stack also um, follows the equation, the same trend with the equation when you are creating your stack here. So let me delete this. We don't need this. I'm just trying to show us what I meant by ensuring that it follows the same trend as what we have in the equation. So let us create our stack now. We can plot the stack just to have a look at the stack that we create that we created. This will take a while because we have quite a number of them. So here we have all our stack. Then we export it and save it to file as well. We can also standardize if we, we can also normalize if we want to, but um, for us here, we really don't need to because it does not really influence our results. So we can use our data the way it is. As long as we have the same dimension and the resolution is the same and the data type is also the same as I have showed previously with two of the raster data cells. So let us write to file, the stack to file. So now if you can, 
this usually take a while so let us um when r is running you see this signal here the red symbol shows us that it's running so we just have to wait for it to complete This might take some time because um, we have uh, a large, a relatively large data set. So this might take some time for it to complete. So uh, I will pause the video now and um, we come back to fit our model.